Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about bucket truck operation and bucket truck safety. So stick around for the show. How to wire a new residential construction. Okay, so this is our uh, 2004 F550 diesel bucket truck. It's uh, an old uh, a phone utility truck that we turned into a power truck so we can use to do our electrical services and high work. Uh, we use it every day. Just doing a walk around of it here. This uh, F550 has a six liter diesel in it. Has about 280,000 original kilometers on it. And has a 37 and a half foot Alltech boom. Now, as you can see, there's lots of bells and whistles with this truck. Um, we have to have safety checks on it every year. And we also have to have heavy duty truck inspections or heavy truck inspections and also boom inspections. Now, as electricians, we're only allowed to work on 750 volts or less, which is the secondary side of the line. Um, so we don't have an insulated boom or there's no dielectric test performed on this truck. However, we still need a boom inspection because uh, we're properly insured. So there are a number of things when operating one of these trucks that uh, you have to take into consideration. Number one is you only need a regular class license because this truck doesn't have air brakes, it just has regular brakes. Um, but you have to have the insurances and you have to have the inspections on them once a year. So like I said before, you get the heavy truck inspection once a year and then you get the boom inspection once a year. And the boom inspection is mainly uh, for safety purposes. It gets a load test on it every year. All the controls are inspected, hydraulic system, and anything that uh, needs to be replaced is replaced. Now you can see the dash here um, with the original kilometers on it and all of your wonderful gauges. So this truck has turbo. One of the most important things that we need to maintain with this truck is a six liter diesel is synthetic oil changes and service to the turbo. So. Uh, the turbo is actually what builds your boost pressure and uh, this is a heavy truck, it weighs about 8 tons so when you're going along down the highway uh, you need to be able to get that power to get up the hills. So you can see if I step on the gas, the boost pressure goes up with the higher with the RPMs. And then we have all our control equipment here for our strobes, um, our PTO. And I should mention that uh, the PTO uh, runs the hydraulics. So there's several safeties with that. So the first thing we need to do is push the emergency brake in and then turn the PTO on. So once the PTO's on, you can hear it ramping up there. Uh, then we can put the hydraulics down for the boom and everything that goes along with it. So just a quick walk around here. Uh, some other important maintenance issues are, are you need to keep your batteries up to date because it takes a lot of starting power. And then in the winter time, you also have a glow plug that you may want to plug in. When we use the truck, uh, that just keeps it to have smoother starting in on the cold mornings. Um, and again, uh, we do all our engine maintenance. And tires, it goes through a pretty thorough inspection each year. Undercoating is also another important thing. Service to these outriggers are important. So how the truck works is uh, once the PTO is engaged, the outriggers come down to stabilize the truck. Uh, and then once the outriggers are down, we flip the power up to the upper boom and then we can disable the boom, or sorry, enable the boom and go up in the boom. So the boom will go straight up uh, 37 and a half, a half feet to foot working level. So I mean the normal height, five or six foot person will put you at uh, a low 40s. And I just wanted to mention that the outriggers are additional, or sorry, separate on each side. So there's an outrigger there, and then there's an outrigger there. And that's what puts the outriggers down. So up here in our boom, we have our primary boom controls. Um, basically, this is a giant joystick that goes up, down, uh, left, right and then the trigger will let you go in and out for retracting. This also will level the, uh, the, the bucket platform that we're, we're standing on and then you can raise and lower. In addition, um, there is an emergency stop here 
and a 120 volt electrical outlet. Um, so this actually has an onboard generator, which you can start and stop for AC power. Uh, that's run by the hydraulic system. And then you can start and stop the engine as well from up here. So here's a view from the top of the truck and you would hook your harness in there. Uh, that's a key, obviously a key safety feature uh, that we have to have a full harness and uh, hard hat on with work boots when we go up in this thing. And like I said, we're only allowed to work on 750 volts or less. So where this comes into use or, or the biggest thing for us is sign work, uh, changing signs and poles. Um, we work on all kinds of street lights and we also do high service entrances. So when we go up a pole like that there, uh, we can get up to the top to get the service entrance right up to the top. So in regards to safety, uh, depending on what kind, uh, part of the world you're in or what part of North America, whether it be Canada or U.S., um, we have to keep driver's logs or travel logs here uh, in case we get pulled over by compliance. And in addition to that, we also have to have, uh, I'll just show you here, we have to have an operation procedure here stamped right in the truck, and we also have to have the original uh, owner's manuals from Alltech. So Alltech is quite a big uh, company and they're good to work with. We, we can order parts from them direct if we want. Um, so yeah, we keep up on our safety and, and uh, keep the truck running smooth. All right, so we're gonna do a demonstration of him going up in the boom, putting his gear on. This is my uh, buddy from down the road. He works for a tree company, so he's quite used to it. So he's gonna go up and show you how everything works. Okay, so he's putting the outriggers down. One on that side. He's gonna level the truck up. And then we're gonna come over here to this side. So these outriggers need to be down. Now you flip that switch up. Yeah, there you go. Now you got hydraulic power up at the top. So those outriggers need to be down in order for the boom to come up. I'm gonna take a step back. Now normally when we'd be doing a roadside project, we put those pylon cones out just for safety. You see, you see he's hooking into the the uh, safety line there. Sorry. There you go. Go way up. I'm going to have to walk and stand way back here. There we go. Hi. So it is a two-way arm. The arm goes up on the bottom, which is what he's doing there. And then the main boom goes up. It's hard to get in here. There we go, it's going right up to the top. So like I say, this works for pole lights. There's a max height right there. And you can swing the boom around and take it up. So we're 37 and a half feet right up to the top. And then it rotates right around. Hi! <laughs> Shut it off from up there. Huh? Shut the engine off from up there. On the button. The start stop button. Push it. So you can see the truck shuts off from up there to save uh, engine life and, and uh, so you don't have to have the truck running. Okay, go ahead and start it. 
and then she starts from the top. And then you've also got a 120 volt generator. Start the generator. Hold the button. Yeah, hold the button. There. So the generator's running now. And now you can shut it back off. That gives 120 volt at the top of the, the bucket. Good. It's too high for me. These all tech booms are great. I can't hear you. Yeah, the bucket tilts. Beautiful. Yeah, so it's got quite an outreach. You can see how much it comes down there, which is perfect for getting up over banks. It doesn't go down over the side of the truck though, so it's not really good work for bridge work. Okay, sit on the top of the bucket there, Mr. Safety. You know this video is about safety and operation. Yay. <coughs> so I guess we should probably keep the bucket cover on to keep the water from going in the bucket. Yeah, that's what it's for. I wonder what that was for. And then you'll notice he needs to bring it right down on top of the cradle. There's a safety switch on top of the cradle. That's it. That's good. Good job. So the buckets he goes up in are 80 feet for trimming, trimming trees, so he's quite used to this. Yeah. There we go. You're down. Perfect. Thank you, sir, for your demonstration purposes. Camera shot. So we hope you like our video of our operation of the bucket truck and what's generally involved when doing electrical equipment and other electrical projects. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I guess we'll see you on the next one, guys.